Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on antenna. Okay, so this video, I'm going to describe one of the parameters in order to describe the function of the antenna and maybe also the performance of antenna, okay, which is radiation pattern. Okay, so under radiation pattern, we have this OMI directional antenna. We also have directional antenna and isotropic antenna. Okay, so this video, I'm going to explain three of them. What are the key different in order for you to understand fully on the radiation pattern of the antenna. Okay, so this will be the part three series discussion on antenna. So guys, if you're keen to know more about antenna, please take a look on the playlist under the description. Over there, you will be able to find a series of discussion on antenna. Okay, so this is my email. If you have any question regards on this discussion, please drop me an email. Okay, or if not, if you want to have a faster response, ask me through the comment. Okay, before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to help this channel by like this video. For those who are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. Okay, let's quickly understand okay, what is actually an antenna. Okay, an antenna, they are basically the fundamental component in any wireless communication system. In short, without any antenna, okay, wireless communication cannot even function. Hence, antenna is an essential part of any wireless communication. Okay, so this is because antenna actually enable both the transmission and also the reception of electromagnetic wave. Okay, so let's quickly understand what is an antenna. Okay, so this diagram shows an antenna. At the input of an antenna is actually a signal, electrical signal. But after it went through the antenna, it actually converts the electrical signal into electromagnetic wave. Okay, so this is because electromagnetic wave can propagate in the air and hence okay, the key role of antenna is simply convert the electrical signal into EM wave in order for it to propagate in the air. Okay, the performance and also the functionality of an antenna are categorized by several key parameters. There are so many of them. As I mentioned for this video, I just mainly focus on radiation pattern. Okay, an antenna radiation pattern illustrates how it transmits radio frequency energy or power in different directions. In short, you imagine, and this radiation pattern actually indicate how the antenna actually release the RF energy, whether is it to a direction or is it through all the areas equally, etc. Okay, so this video, we are going to understand this. Okay, so this pattern is usually represent in a polar or Cartesian coordination system. Okay, so basically this is a polar, this is a Cartesian coordination system. Basically, this will illustrate how does the antenna actually release the electromagnetic wave. Okay, so with this kind of polar or Cartesian coordination system, it actually indicates okay, whether an antenna is focusing or disperse radio frequency energy equally and all. Okay, for instance, okay, a good radiation pattern for a typical OMI direction Wi-Fi resemble a donut shape. Okay, don't do well so much on the donut shape. Okay, on my next slide, I will explain okay, what, why this donut shape. Okay, at its radio wave radiate with equal power in all horizontal direction. Okay, so in short, they mainly radiate the electromagnetic wave in all horizontal direction. Okay, we are going to take a look on the next slides. Okay, another example is the Yagi Yudan antenna. Okay, so this type of directional antenna commonly used as at the top of the rooftop. Okay, basically is mainly for point-to-point -point Wi-Fi internet connection in rural area. So in short, okay, because you want to have a high gain, so therefore you want your antenna to be directive. But for this case here, for example, for this OMI direction, Okay, in an urban environment, for example, okay, we want to have enough Wi-Fi almost everywhere. So hence, we actually prefer to have a OMI direction antenna. Okay, so later on, we will take a close look the key difference between these two. Okay, so let's start off by discuss on OMI directional antenna. Okay, 
Okay, so an omnidirectional antenna is a type of antenna that radiate equal radio power in all direction perpendicular to an axis. Okay, so basically you can imagine this is the axis. Okay, so perpendicular means that it's either to the left or to the right. And you can see very clearly in this diagram here. Okay, so basically this is an antenna. You can see that it actually releases the energy either to the left or to the right. So this is what it means. It actually radiates in all directions perpendicular to an axis, which is 90 degrees if you visualize this here. Okay, the power radiate is maximum in horizontal direction, dropping to zero directly above and below the antenna. As you can see from this diagram here, you have almost nothing on top of the antenna. And again, from here, you can see that you almost have nothing below the antenna. So this is what it means. It mainly focus to transmit out the, and the energy, the RF energy, either to the left or to the right, or in short, the horizontal direction. Okay, when graphed in 3D, okay, this radiation pattern is often described as donut shape. Okay, so basically you can see that this is actually a donut shape. Imagine the antenna is right in the middle of the donut shape. So basically this is the antenna. They are actually right in the middle of this donut shape. As I mentioned earlier on, the energy mainly focuses on horizontal, either on the left or on the right. And you can see that nothing is on top of the antenna. Nothing is at the bottom of the antenna. So therefore, this form of antenna is called a omnidirectional antenna. Mainly, they are going to focus on either the left or the right, which means that the horizontal direction. Okay, let's quickly take another close look on this omnidirectional antenna in order to fully understand okay, what is actually an omnidirectional antenna. Okay, so omnidirectional antenna are widely used as non-directive antenna okay so which means that they don't have any specific direction to aim at okay because they radiate equally in all horizontal direction as i explained earlier on okay the power radiate decrease with elevation angle so little energy is direct into the sky or down towards the earth the okay, only direction antennas are commonly used for radio broadcast and in mobile device such as cell cellular phone FM radio, walkie-talkie, wireless communication network, cordless phone, and GPS. Okay, they are also used for base stations that communicate with mobile radio, such as those by police and taxi dispatcher, as well as for aircraft communication. Okay, so in this diagram here, you can see that this is an antenna. Okay, you can see that they basically radiate out the energy in a horizontal way. You can see here, so either on the left, okay, because at 2 D you will be probably can see that they actually release either on the left uh, but also on the right. But over here in a 3D manner, you can see that they basically, in short, they actually release the energy in a horizontal way. Okay, so this one, as I mentioned earlier on, look like a donut shape. Okay, so basically this is the antenna as you can see from here. Okay, you can see that basically there will be a noun okay, on top of the antenna and also a noun at the bottom of the antenna. Okay, so basically this is Omi direction antenna. Okay, so this diagram here, for example, show a uh, Omi direction antenna. Okay, let's say this is a AM broadcast or FM broadcast. Okay, because all of us are, will be somewhere either here or somewhere over here, so it doesn't make sense okay for us to transmit up into the sky. So therefore, for this kind of application, okay, we actually want to have a Omi direction antenna. Okay, because they release the energy in a horizontal way, which means that okay. Everyone, okay, let's say we are on the ground, okay, we will be able to receive this AM or FM radio. Okay, so rather than that, this kind of OMI direction antenna does not really focus to transmit the energy wave into the sky or into the bottom of the earth here. Okay, so basically this is the key characteristics of OMI direction antenna. Okay, let's quickly understand okay, on direction antenna. I, can, I think this is quite clear cut, right? So basically, it's to focus your signal at a particular direction. Okay, direction antenna send and receive signal in one direction only. Okay, nowadays we actually may have dual direction or even three direction. Okay, but for this case here, just take it that this direction antenna basically send and receive in just one direction only. Okay, they are basically used in a tightly focused, very narrow beam. 
Okay, the signal pattern from a direction antenna has a cigar shape. Okay, you can see that they look like a cigar shape and look the same from the top as from the side. Okay, so basically either from the top view or on the side view, they are actually the same. They look like a cigar shape. Okay, this shape is referred as a loop. Okay, direction antenna usually have small side loop which are typically ignored because they don't significantly affect the signal. Okay, over here you can see that this is basically what we call a main loop. Okay, so basically we also have a back loop. Basically it is almost 180 degree okay, versus the main loop. Okay, so basically this is what we call a back loop. Okay, beside that we also have very little signal considered as side loop. Okay, so this is what it mentioned over here. Okay, however, okay, you, you should be aware of this side loop in case that you actually detect a small signal okay, off to the side of a direction antenna. Okay, so for example, for this main loop, okay, basically you have some form of side loop, you are actually able to detect the signal, okay, but the signal will be very, very weak. Okay, so basically, this is direction antenna. Okay, we quickly finish this direction antenna. Okay, so direction antenna can radiate radio wave in beams Okay, when a greater concentration of radiation in a specific direction is desired. Okay, if you still remember, I mentioned about this rural area. Okay, in order to receive the Wi-Fi, for example, here, okay, it need to point the antenna in a specific direction. Okay, so this is because they want to have the best chance to receive the signal because they know, for example, okay, where they actually broadcast the signal. So hence, in order to ensure the best chance to have the best gain, you actually want to have a directive antenna point to a certain direction in order to receive the signal. Okay, similarly, okay, so this is what I mean. Receiving antenna can also be designed to receive radio wave from only one direction. Okay, this can increase the power transmit to receiver in that direction and also we can also reduce any form of interference from unwanted source okay, because the wanted signal is so much bigger as compared to the unwanted signal. So therefore, okay, basically this will be a win-win situation. Okay, this is mainly for a, you know where you actually want to collect your, your signal, for example, or where you want to send your signal over. So therefore, you need to have a direction antenna to pinpoint where you actually want to send your signal or pinpoint where you actually want to receive your signal. And with this, you actually also minimize the interference from any unwanted source here. Okay, direction antenna come in a variety of shapes, size, and design. Okay, each tailor to its intent purpose. Okay, common direction antenna design include panel antenna, parabolic antennas, sector antennas, grid antennas, and I think this is the most common, Yagi Yudan antennas. Okay, each type has different application, which is highly dependent on the specific setup. Okay, so basically you just imagine this diagram here. Okay, if you concentrate okay, to send and also concentrate to receive, then you will have a higher chances to receive the signal here. Okay, so basically you can see that this is like a pencil bin. They focus the energy in a very particular direction only. Okay, so this diagram here, for example, show the Yaki antenna. Okay, so basically this form is actually a very directive antenna. Next, on isotropic antenna. Okay, and... Isotropic antenna is a theoretical antenna, okay, which means that it's almost not possible to achieve isotropic antenna. And hence, this is what we call a very theory antenna. Okay, they basically radiate energy equally in all directions, both horizontal and vertical. Okay, remember, under this OMI direction antenna, okay, I mentioned that they actually release the energy in a horizontal way. But for this isotropic they actually release the energy equally in both horizontal and vertical. And hence, therefore, this is what we call a theory antenna, okay, which is very difficult to achieve okay, with the same intensity. Okay, so it's almost very challenging okay, to have this isotropic antenna. Okay, it has a gain of 1. Okay, so basically, this is ratio. And ratio 1 is basically a 0 dB in a sphere space around it. And an efficiency of 100%. Okay, an isotropic antenna is used as a reference to evaluate antenna gain. So basically, this is just a gauge okay, to determine okay, how good is your gain, etc. So basically, we will compare again isotropic antenna. Okay, many antennas specify gain in dBi, okay, which is decibel over isotropic. 
which is the power transmit by an antenna in a specific direction divided by the power transmit by an isotropic antenna emitting the same total power. Okay, so I think you have a better understanding what is DBI. So in short, okay, you basically transmit a power, for example, for this case here, at a particular direction. Okay, so next, we also capture the power. Okay, so this power that we actually done early on, okay, which is transmitted by the antenna in a specific direction, they actually divided by the same power that is actually transmitted by an isotropic antenna. So basically, with this focus, the ratio, you will actually specify the antenna in terms of DBI, isotropics. Okay, so let's quickly, okay, before I continue, guys, please help this channel by like this video. Okay, so when more of you guys actually like this video, this video will have a higher chances to reach up to a larger audience. So guys, help me by like this video. If you have learned something from this video, please consider to subscribe and turn on your notification bell. Let me quickly do a quick conclusion. Okay, you probably see that this isotropic and OMI direction antenna, they look quite similar. Okay, so basically this diagram here show the OMI direction antenna. This is actually the isotropic antenna. Okay, so for this OMI direction antenna, you can see that I actually released my electromagnetic wave in the horizontal way. Okay, so basically imagine that you, you also have this, but I just worry that you may have a wrong idea when I actually draw an arrow up. Okay, but in terms of 3D, you can illustrate that basically in short, they basically release the energy in a horizontal way. Okay, so basically this is a OMI direction antenna. Okay, so over here you can see that this is actually where the antenna is. Basically, you can see that they basically radiate the energy equally in all directions, whether it's a horizontal, vertical, etc. They actually release the energy in uh, all directions and the power is evenly distributed in all area here. So therefore, as I mentioned earlier on, isotropic typically is called an ideal antenna. And in fact, we actually use this isotropic okay, to compare the performance of any antenna that you actually build. Okay, so for example, for this case here, if you can see that this is basically concentrate on the horizontal way. And for isotropic, in short, they basically concentrate all direction transmit and all of them actually have the same power. In short, for example, let's say you are one meter away, all of them actually has the same power under this one meter. Let's say after that, you transmit all the three meter, okay, all of them actually at this point will have the same power. Okay, so basically this is what we meant by isotropic antenna. And I think you have a better understand what is actually a OMI direction antenna. With this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please stop to like and subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye for now. Thank you.